Hey guys, so I want to talk about color processing. So I've, I think I've done a video on this, but I wanted to do an updated one because I really love this tool and I, I don't know if everybody knows about it. So as you see, I have t uh, Bluebeam 2018 open and in my my view panel here, I, I have a Bluebeam markup loaded and it looks like the grid is on. So if you want this same PDF you can come up here to the help button and then go into training resources and the first one's the markup and you can open up that that uh, default markup um, Bluebeam PDF that they have so if I want to run color processing on this I have to come up here to the document button and then come down here to color processing press this button and then we'll get some options up here so we get this di this dialog which has a number of options so we have the tolerance source colors and this is all specific to the modify colors process type and then down here we see a before and after preview so if I click on this and get the I get this drop down I get colorized grayscale black and white lumosity saturation and hue mask image so modify colors is a really cool thing because we can grab the specific colors that are in this PDF and then that would be the first and then we want to change this red to a different you know color we can come down here and you know take a look at this black we can or I think it's it's one of these blacks grab one and then change it to a really strange color so as you see it grabbed all that specific type of black so this one you know pertain to all the lines that were within the the PDF that were you know the building and title block and it changed it all to blue so you can apply this to a number of items within the PDF and it kind of picks them up and then you know if you wanted this to be a, a variety of colors you have that option uh, another nice thing is colorization so we can kind of pick a, a specific color for for every page or we can do a custom or current and scale color we can do process image do something like that you know give it a back background and you know, if we want to turn this off turn this off So that's the colorization one. We have a grayscale, so that's you know kind of simple. We can have an option over here, process image. We it doesn't give us any you know option to come in here and click on this because our idea is it's turning it to grayscale. Again, we have the pages, so all current custom, drop down, black and white. Again, you know, process image, kind of the same as the other one lumosity and saturation and hue so this is just a, a drag bar and we can just kind of move it and you can see the after image kind of changing so you can play around with it and get an idea of what you're looking for to do with the 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 PDF and the mask image so you know give this a try because it has a variety of you know um, reasons for doing it you know for example if you get a a number of PDFs from a, a contractor or, or a partner or design firm that happen to be in all color but your default default standard is to be a, a black and gray then you have that option within this to do a quick processing to change it all and it seems to work pretty well when it comes to you know giving it good layer thicknesses and and, and layer um, uh, um, depths and stuff like that giving it different transparencies and whatnot so it, it's a pretty trust trustful tool to use for those type type of um, uh, cases you know if, if you printed from an authoring tool or you didn't print from an authoring tool and just don't have those capabilities but you have Bluebeam, then it's a nice thing, you know, to be able to have that workflow at your fingertips. So I hope this helps. I hope this clears, you know, 
whatever it is with color processing up for you and i hope that it can make you more effective and efficient i appreciate you watching thanks a lot